Hello and welcome back to my garage in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. It is time once again to go to the junkyard and buy a car. Since the garage is clear, let's go see if we can find something cool. Okay, here we are. I see some stuff already. What is this? That looks like a charger. Challenger. Okay, that's definitely high up on the list. This other thing I think is Category Katsumoto. That's not a bad little car. Um, I think I see a Mustang over there. Is this, is this one of the modded ones? Oh, no. No. Okay, so that's two. <laughs> I'm definitely buying that car. What else is here? What did I see in here? Is this one of the SUVs? Yeah, Myoveni Ur... Ur the Myoveni Urs? Getting off to a good start. The last couple of times I've come to the junkyard, there's been like two cars. There's a looks like a Lamborghini over there. And this I think is the is this the 550? It is. This is a good car to do also. Wow. Oh, this is the Bugatti. Bugatti Ch Chiron. $329,000. This is a mod that I just recently downloaded, so I haven't worked on one of these yet. Can't open it. What about the hood? Can I open the hood? All this stuff in the front. It's, uh, I may buy that too. This is a Bolt Atlanta. It's just a generic Bolt Atlanta. What's over here? Another Mustang. You gotta be kidding me. Two of the DLC Mustangs. Okay, so I'm going to kind of go nuts here. I'm going to do the Challenger now. I'm buying those other cars and I'm going to stick them in the parking. It might even be fun. It might even be fun to do two Mustangs at the same time. That's something I kind of enjoy doing. I'm going to stick this in the parking so I don't clutter up my garage too much. I'm also going to buy the other Mustang and I'm going to buy the Bugatti. Oh, I'm going to buy this thing too. I may not do all of these cars on camera because some of these are just some of these are just good for the money. I mean the Mustang, the Mustang fully built out sells for like $500,000. And the 550 sells pretty well too. But I just can't pass up two DLC Mustangs like this. I 
I think what I'll do is I'll throw the Bugatti in the garage and I'll do a separate episode on it. So I just bought one, two, three, four, five cars. That would completely fill up my garage spaces. Alright, well let's go back and get to work. This game always seems to load to 80% for me and then it'll sit there and sit there and sit there and then it'll go. I've done as much all the tuning things I can think of to do. I'm going to have to basically just back up my hard drive and completely re wipe and I'll have to format it and reinstall, I think, to get everything back to working normally. Okay, so we're going to do we're going to do the Challenger. I can put a Hemi in it. And the factory color is kind of a light blue. All right, well, let's begin by ripping off the body parts. in the way of body on it. There's no gl no glass in it, which is fine because we would throw that away anyway. So I'm going to get also the pieces that are mounted to the body of the car. In these, it's in these it's always usually pretty simple. The radi radiator C, brake servo, and battery. Since this is since this is a V8 engine, it's not going to have a uh, rod caps and stuff left over from the last car. It's not going to have a fan. Yeah, hold that for just a second. It's not going to have a fan module attached. It's not going to have a fan thing attached to the radiator. It's going to be on the front of the engine. Okay, let's buy the body and interior parts. It has a different steering wheel. It's probably like wheel 15 or something. That's the one that's in the Plymouth Roadrunner. What is what steering wheel did this car have? Steering wheel three, there it is. I think that's the the wooden one. Yeah. The wood one with the metal. Whatever the heck you call it. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get the body parts too. sure to not buy all the SRT Hellcat stuff. That's a car that has been eluding me. I have been trying to find an SRT Hellcat to buy. I have not found one in either in any of the places where you could normally get one. 
And I, I even went in and changed the config. Ah. I, even, I even went in and changed the config so that the car would show up in the uh, junkyard. Still haven't found one. And before I forget, let's get license plates too. Once again, since I'm from Washington, I'm going to put Washington plates on it. If at any point somebody wants to suggest a plate, I'll be happy to take it. Take the suggestion. Okay, and that should be all the body parts. Don't think I'll have any... Yep, nothing left it floating around in my inventory. Why do, I have, why do I have an extra one of those? I wonder if I bought two when I worked on that... When I, when I worked on that Bentley. I wonder if I bought two of them. Oh, I hope I didn't put the wrong part on that car. Oh well, sold it. It's long gone, so... All right, let's put this thing on the lift and get it cleaned up. That's a nice blue. I like that. I'm not going to keep the car. I'm just going to sell it when it's done. So that blue, that blue is fine. I can live with that. I want to send it up and replace the fuel tank and the pump and all the exhaust pieces. I need to look and see what exhaust pieces it actually needs. I'm not sure. I've done a couple of these, but I never can remember which one each one of these things needs. Middle mufflers. What is that? That looks like pipe pipe B. Yep, it is. And there's no performance part for that one. And it probably has rear muff nope, nope, rear muffler E. Interesting. Rear muffler E. No, no performance rear muffler E. Well, that's a bummer. I think that was the correct... Yep, it was. <laughs> I just had a momentary panic there that I had bought the wrong uh, wrong pipe. Gotta get the tank out.
V8OHVF. Do I have one? I don't think I have one of those already. No, just V8OHV. Oh well. I might be able to use this camshaft though. Unless it's an unless this is all an unless this is all a V8F engine. Anyway, just kick it over to the paint shop and paint it real quick. And I get lost. Yeah, that's a nice looking blue. I like that. I'm going to need the engine puller at some point. Let's get it now. I think I'm going to replace those wheels. Those rims are kind of ugly. This is a leaf spring rear end, so that's super easy to do really quickly. The only thing that annoys me about this one is the, the leaf springs themselves, th themselves. They each have a small bushing tucked into the end of them and you have to take them out individually. You can't just take this, the spring off and have the bushings come out. I find that really annoying. I'll go ahead and yank the drive shaft and the clutch pieces. I'll even, I guess I'll even take the transmission out now too, since I'm going to throw it away anyway. And I'll pull the clutch pieces. God, it's way over there. Come on. Touch it. There we go. Okay, so let's start getting rid of stuff. I'm going to get rid of the clutch pieces because it's going to be a performance clutch. Let's go ahead and buy the bushings. And the and you have to buy the throw out bearing here because there isn't a performance version of it. Okay, what else? I think I'll just go ahead and buy all new leaf spring parts because these are red they're probably not going to repair anyway drums, wheel hub 4. I know the shock absorber bees will not be repairable.
Some, I mean, I, sometimes uh, actually the brake shoes. Whoops, the brake shoes are quite often repairable, but it always makes me feel weird to buy to use refurbished brake shoes. It's like, ooh. Okay. Uh, I'll try and repair this stuff. Now let's look at some rims, though, that don't suck. Actually, I should have paid more attention. Those are 15-inch wheels. Okay. Let's see what we got. I don't like most of the DLC rims. They look kind of... Well, that's not too bad. I like kind of like that. And that. This is just terrible. I don't know what you would use that on. The, Delor the DeLorean. Uh, I actually did a DeLorean and it uses this rim. What else? Yeah, most of the DLC, most of the DLC rims are really disappointing. I think I'm gonna go with uh, the retro. Where is it? This one. I like this one. This one looks cool. I think it'll look good on this car. And I'm not gonna put the vintage tires on it either. Two twenty-five, sixty, fifteen. Yeah, I think that wheel looks I think that wheel looks good. Take a look and see what I can repair at this point. Looks like most of that stuff repaired. Yeah, all of it did. Okay, I'm not going to use this. Let's go ahead and buy the go ahead and buy the performance gearbox. Okay, now we can reassemble the rear end real quick. Once again, I recommend getting the bushings in right away. Because if you forget one, and after you if you forget one and assemble everything else, it will make you want to eat eat your mouse to try to find it and put it back in. Okay, I'm going to do the springs. I have to do the leaf springs, the leaf spring bolts too. This part is the, is this is the only little tedious part of this. It's having having to uh, bolt all these things in. Whenever there's a lot of little things you have to bolt on, that's when you start to kind of, my eyes start to cross a little bit. Oh 
Oh yeah, that looks way better. Even with the brake drum behind it, it still looks a lot better. really good. Where are we at now? 54 grand. I know this is not a particularly valuable car. Um, I think I'll probably get about 90,000 out of it. Now let's see what we can do here. I know I'm going to need the double wishbone. And let's get rid of all the bush bushings because I am going to need 12 of them. I know I'm going to need the tie rods. What was the sway bar B? Okay, good. I tried to, I tried to remember to make a note of it as I was taking them off because all the front pieces were sway bar B. Okay, what else? Um, I'm going to do the I'm just going to buy new brakes. is actually the wrong place. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the shock parts, and I'll need, and I'll need to get the hubs too, the bearings and stuff.
Okay, so we can whack this, and that, and all the hub parts because I bought new ones. The rest of this stuff might be repairable. Let's go ahead and buy wheels and tires. Wheels are 225.60, just like the back. I'll go ahead and get these mounted and balanced. table while that last tire is going. Oh, I think we repaired everything. I didn't see anything to say that I failed to repair it. Okay, one front axle knuckle cover, steering rack, and knuckle C. I hate it when I leave it on the tire screen. should be everything I need to get the front end back together. Kick all that stuff in real quick now. What does the engine have in it? Anything? It has no pistons. No crankshaft caps. It's got the timing stuff on it. Oh boy, I'm, I'm probably going to just throw this engine away and build a Hemi engine anyway. Anyway, let's go getting ahead of myself. side is done. Get the other side done.
the car looks nice now. It really looks nice. I like those wheels a lot. I like them a lot more than the than the original retro wheels that it had on it. Let's get it down so we can get the uh, remains of the engine out of it. Let's see where we're at. 70 grand. Yeah, uh, I, like I said, I know it's not going to be a super expensive, valuable car, but and the V8 OHV 6P does 390 horsepower. Pretty sure the Hemi does like 475 by itself. Take the engine out and the and it's not. I mean, it's really. I mean, it's not even. It's not even close to being a complete engine either. And the value drops to. That the value drops by like five grand. Check that again. V8 OHV Hemi. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna build one of those from scratch. Nope. Nope. It's this one right here. And most of these bits are like V8C, I think. Engine block C. I need the coil. I think I actually have a fuel filter. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's I don't remember I don't remember all the parts on this one like I do some of the other engines, so this is gonna be kind of catch and catch can. But I do remember like all the yellow bits. And you know what? I'm pretty sure it's gonna use this too. Because it, it uses the Plymouth parts. I know it's that engine block. And it's that oil pan. It's gonna be V8 OHV C piston rings. And I know it's gonna be two of those. It's gonna need that, and it's gonna need that. I think it's gonna need the crankshaft pulley, the OHV crankshaft pulley. Probably V8F for the timing chain. And the crankshaft. I think it's the OHV crankshaft. It might well no, it's probably be the, let's just let's let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. I know that the Hemi engine is the has the H the H cylinder heads. And eight of those. Uh, okay, it's probably this camshaft. I know it's gonna be carburetor A and B. And it's gonna be these two heads. Let's not, like I said, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Go ahead and buy the crankshaft, the caps too. V8 engines always use three crank caps, and obviously it's a V8, so eight rod caps. Of course, I don't know what crankshaft to put in it. Yeah, oh, crankshaft C, camshaft C, oil filter V8. And I know it's going to be this cam gear. Just not sure what timing it's going to be. 
because it's either going to be it's going to be either the F or it's going to be the OHV. And I hate I hate buying stuff the wrong things by accident. Is it F? It is F. Oh, it was the it was the the OHV pulley. I knew that too. And it's going to need the, let's see, belt A for V8C, belt B for V8C, and it's going to need rad fan B. Or is there, no, I'm pretty sure it's B, but it might be that one. All right. And actually, that's way way ahead of where I should be because I haven't put the arms or the alternator or the power steering pump on it and I'll need all of that before I can even put the belts on so it's alternator I6 and power steering pump F It was radiator fan B. Well, that's like the front of the engine already all done. I haven't even put in pistons or anything yet. Should, probably should have gone ahead and bought those heads. Yeah, V8H heads. Okay, we'll go ahead and flip it over, because I need to go back and buy the heads, and there's an intake manifold, and all kinds of stuff. A 
Okay, so head A, V8H, head B, V8H, exhaust manifold, V8H, and the intake manifold, H. I think that's the right one. I sure hope it is. I do remember that it's carburetor A and B, and this air filter. And then you have this air filter base and this air filter cover. Where are the engine head covers? Because they're the ones that, uh, I think they just say engine head cover. But they have the Plymouth logo on them. Yep, right here. Engine head cover A, where's A? It's up here, there it is. Engine head cover A, engine head cover B. That should be everything. Whoops. That should be everything. We can finish assembling this thing now. Oh, you know, you know what? Push rods. And I'm pretty sure it's push rod F. I think I bought the rocker arms, though. I did, thank goodness. Alright, let's let assembly begin in earnest now. tell you, um, the, my least favorite part of working on a V8 engine is putting in pit, uh, rocker push rods and rocker arms. At least this one has the rocker arms as one piece rather than 16 individual ones. That makes me want to eat a frisbee. the correct intake manifold at least. And the spark plugs can go in. The spark plug wires can go in, rather. Oh, that looks sharp. I really like. I like the red and the red accents with all the performance parts and the chrome. It really looks nice. The carburetors look good too, but once the air cover is on, you're not gonna be able to see them anymore. Okay, that engine is 100% complete. Everything is on it. It's ready to go back into the car. And this is my favorite part, where I take the engine and stick it in my pocket. And I need to trash this engine. $174, that's all it's worth. Let's go ahead and inst install this thing. And I like, I like to immediately put oil in it so I don't forget. And 
now we can finish and oop, you know what? I didn't buy a starter. I know it needs a starter. And but once this is in I can finish installing the drivetrain. Okay, that should make the car 100% across the board. Yep, 100% across the board. Let's send it to the dyno and see what we've got now, power-wise. So the factory horsepower for the 6P engine was something like 390, and the factory horsepower for the Hemi is 425. With the performance parts, it's going to be, I don't know, probably 800. Still, it's like a ridiculous amount of power in this car. I kind of ma I kind of made a point of not looking at the car at the price, and I even don't remember how much I paid for it. Now, God, I really should make a note so I know how much I, I spent for a junker. Let's go ahead and look at the status and see where we're. Oh wow! I really only thought it would be about 90 grand. 140000 with a $28,000 resto bonus, so call it $168,000. That's not too shabby at all. I wonder if it's because of the new engine. Well, in other, car other cars I have taken out and driven on the, on the speed track, but I'm not going to do that with this one because the, the sport tires have, like, no traction whatsoever. And it's, it's like... I mean, it's it's like skittering around. On, it's like skittering around on ice. It's just not worth it. So I'm just going to sell this thing, and get it out of here. And we're up $168,000. I mean, I bought five cars, and I still have $38 million. But that that's. I mean, you just saw how I make I made all of my money in this game was going to the junkyard, buying cars, and flipping them. So next time I will do this Bugatti. I'm not going to do it now, or at least I'm not going to do it as part of this episode because that'll make this thing like two hours long, and I'm trying to keep these around an hour. Um, so next time I'll do this car, and maybe after that I'll do the two Ford Mustangs together at the same time just for the, just for the sake of argument. There's a big old gap behind the hood right there. That's really weird. I wonder if it's a body part or a clamshell piece or something that's supposed to go in there. That looks kind of crappy. I wonder what the factory color of this thing is. Green? It only has 4,200 miles on it. Somebody thrashed the heck out of it. What does the body have? Rear clamshell. There is a front clamshell. It doesn't seem to be here. Oh, it's the window. It's the window that covers that space, that hole. That's what's missing. R front right door. Front end. There's a front end, too. And the headlights, doors. The steering wheel is probably a... Yep, there is a front clamshell. Left trunk. That's the tail light. Engine cover. Tail light. Okay, well... So I know what I'm looking at here. I actually kind of like the red. Anyway, let's not get too far ahead. Let's not get into it right now. So, 
Uh, that'll be the end of this one. Hope you, uh, if you made it this far, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye for now.